Hey Sean, uh, a little video about how to paint rims for the Lotus. You go to Content Manager and you go to the Content Manager showroom. It shows the car. And if you are in the main panel, so not if you are like in here at the top. Now, now nothing works, but if you go to the main screen, which says this, stats and stuff, you can select everything. You see, it gets a white outline, so you select the rim. It says xrim.dds, that's the name of the rim and the name of the file, how it should be called. You also see a normal map, it's not important, and you see a texture map. That's how glossy the rim is, but it's that's more complicated, so I'll skip that for now. And you see a texture detail, but we don't, we won't use that as well. So we focus to the text diffuse, and I click the little dots. And this is like the occlusion map that um, is created, of like is inside of the, the model itself. So it has some bolts, it has uh, uh, some stripes on for the size of the rim and the rim itself of course. And you also see it's rectangle. Normally you work with square textures but well QNOS decided to do a rectangle. Anyway, um, to make a, you can export this one and it will just export the file as it is. Uh, I, will, I will do so and I'll show you it in Photoshop. And this 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 file and you see that actually it's really low quality and well I don't really like those uh, so I never use the actual Kunos rims but it can be handy because here you see there's a little Lotus logo in it well it's like it's a really a low uh, file which is used as if it's in motion you don't have to really have to look for it and take care of it. I close this one, but we, we now start to make a real uh, better one. And I do calculate AO and I calculate it on 1024 times 1024. Ooh, that's this one. You save it, you save it as a PNG. I'll prefer PNG, don't know why. Uh, and if you want to ha make it a bit easier for you, you can also um, oh, be sure to have put this on rims because you, also you get the lightning wrong like like you get light on top and you want it from the side and you can view the mapping also 1024 it's easy if you like if you want to paint uh, the body it's not not that handy for rims but well you never know so we save this as well go here X rims so we call this wire Close this one, close this one, go here. Now we open the files we just created, the rims and the wire. As you can see, there's now a square file and we will rescale it so it's a rectangle again. And we can do it like later on. Uh, we copy this with Ctrl A, Ctrl C, and in the copy buffer, it never uh, picks the transparent area. So if you want to prevent that it's get shifted uh, if you place it on top you do paste special paste in place and it's exactly at the right spot um, this layer is the occlusion layer you can always uh, call it something to uh, to make it a bit handier for you to remember we make a new layer we put it on the bottom and we like we fill it with red that's just alt backspace I did or control backspace if you want the front color alt backspace if you Want to fill it with the back color? Um, we press multiply on this one. Disable the maps, but if you like, if you want to make a little logo on this, you can. You the the wireframe is really useful because you can like zoom in and you see you can put your logo here or whatever. But you see where the where the actual shape of the car how it's formed in the 3D model. But actually, this is all we need if you want like just a color for the rim. So we save this and we save it as xrims.psd. Uh, the PSD file is always handy because it has layers and stuff. So we save it. And now if you go back to the custom showroom and I'll go back to the main menu and I put it in skin editing mode. Oh, I see white rims. That's something new. Should be red though. Um, Oh, I don't. I think I know what I did wrong. 
let's save it again I think I saved it in its the right directory it should work ah there it is well sometimes you have to save twice <laughs> but now the rims are red so it's really easy actually to you can you can paint with like every part of the car because like if you like you normally you you pick the the ex mechanics like for example it's also it's the same you see every all parts in here it is a bit a big puzzle to see what's what but basically you can paint every part of the car it's just a matter of having the right name and uh, and if you need a template you can always like just export this one and it's right and like I said to rescale this and we did it now but uh, the car scales it down to the right size anyway um, if you want you can if you want to uh, work with a circular shaped wheel it's, and, which is much easier if you want to put a logo like round on it or like a, a stripe or something just uh, go did in the size uh, don't lock the thing height is 50 percent so now you've got like a circular shape which is real easy if you want like a white stripe on it or something like that. Control S again and well nothing has changed here. So that's actually how you can paint the rim. It's not that hard. Um, good luck with it.